fractions, ratios, percentages. You have heard uh, these words before. You have solved a lot of questions based on this in your previous classes. But let's understand uh, these concepts by connecting all of them together as an introduction to this particular chapter comparing quantities. Because knowing these words perfectly, knowing these concepts perfectly can simplify this chapter to a level which is well below your level. So to begin with, what are fractions? Now, mathematically we can uh, take fractions as nothing but fraction is a number which is written like a division problem. Now, in common language, fraction is nothing but a part. So, if I take 1 by 2 as a fraction, all of us know that it's written like a division problem. This can represent 1 out of 2. So, if I take a pizza here, if I just cut it into half, if I take one part of it and if I give one part of it to my friend, so this part of it which I am taking, I can take it as this is one part out of two. So mathematically, that is using numbers, we represent this as one by two, like this. So all of you know what are fractions. So fraction is a part in, in common language. In, in math, we represent it like a division problem. Now, since you know this very well, now the next concept, which ratios, again you have uh, done a lot of questions before based on ratio. Now, ratios are nothing but, you must have seen this definition, a comparison of two numbers by division. Now, comparing numbers, most of us relate with uh, signs like equal sign, less than, greater than. So it's not just about comparing, it's actually about how the two numbers are related. Now let's understand ratios in a better way. Now, we can say that ratio is a fraction. Now that's kind of confusing, right? All of you know fraction. Fraction is nothing but uh, what we write as a division problem. So in a way, ratio is nothing but a fraction. Mathematically, that is if I use numbers and if I represent 1 by 2 or let's say 1 by 3 here, 1 by 3 is a fraction. Now 1, 2, 3, if I represent it like this is a ratio also. So using numbers there is no difference between fraction and a ratio. How are they different is only in the way we use them in words. So if we use words, 1 by 3, let's take a scenario. If there is a pizza like this, if I cut this into three pieces and if I take one part of it, I can write this as 1 by 3 of a pizza. So it is considered as a single number. 1 by 3 is considered together. So it, we treat this as a single number. 1 by 3 of a pizza. So that's where, so this is a fraction. Now, the same 1 by 3, now let me show you a different scenario. Same pizza, if there are three persons, so it's one pizza to three persons, we can write it as one is to three or we can write it as one pizza divided by three persons. Now here, numerator and denominator, they refer to two different things. So in, in terms of usage, ratio and fraction, this is the difference. Most of us actually don't know the difference. But still, they are different only in usage. That when I say usage, when we represent fraction and ratio using words or scenario, there is a subtle difference. What is that subtle difference? When, when we're, I can show you both here. I can write 1 by 3 of a pizza. Here we consider this as a single uh, number. In this case, 1 pizza to 3 persons. Numerator and denominator, they refer to two different things. So, mathematically, this is 1 by 3, this is also 1 by 3, but in term, that is by using numbers, they are exactly the same, fraction and ratio, they are exactly the same, but if I use words, that is in terms of how we use them, there is a subtle difference. That subtle difference is, this is, fraction is uh, as a, used as a single number, both the numerator and denominator is uh, together, as a single number, it represents 1 by 3 of a pizza. 
here it's one pizza to three persons so these two are two different things so but finally if you just look at numbers this is also one by three this is also one by three that is why ratio is actually a fraction in mathematically ratio is nothing but a fraction all of you know fractions very well so all of you know ratio also very well just that we need to connect and learn like this now it's very simple right since they are used differently sometimes as I told you they are shown differently like we can show 1 by 3 as 1 is to 3 or 1 pizza to 3 persons or 1 pizza per 3 persons we, these are all representations for ratios so just to summarize fraction and ratio that is ratio is nothing but fraction itself the only thing is fraction shows a part of something ratio shows a relationship or a comparison between two different things but mathematically when you see both they look exactly the same